roller skaters. This video is about skating outside, um, like the absolute basics for people starting to skate outside. Um, so in our case, we skated in the rink for years before we started skating outside, and skating outside is very different. There's all sorts of different um, surfaces. Some of them are really bumpy, cracks, debris, asphalt with weird pieces of shell in it. Um, and of course there's level changes and like curves and stuff like that too. Um, so one of the main things that when we first started skating outside we noticed is that it really helps to have a bigger softer wheel to absorb those surfaces. Um, these yeah. wheels are radar energy wheels. There's tons of different kinds of wheels you can get for outdoors but the hardness of around 78A is really good for lots of rough surfaces and stuff. The other thing is once you start skating outside um, you know, coming from a rink background, a lot of times we're like kind of shuffling, going like with our body higher. Outdoors, you want to drop your body position lower, bend your knees, bend your hips more, and stagger your feet. So you're not skating one foot beside the other, but kind of more kind of having like your balance from one foot to the other to where you can kind of carve or do like a scissor with your feet or shift weight from foot to foot. So you're more in a kind of an aggressive position when you're skating outdoors, as opposed to being more upright, um, which would, if you were to hit an ob obstacle, like a little crack in the sidewall, because I mean, you might loop out backwards, right? Or fall forward. Or you, uh, can, fall, yeah. you can fall forwards, but it's always safer when you're skating outside to keep your body position more forwards, more bent at the knees and the hips. Kind of like a derby position too. The yeah, derby, people or that even do like derby when you're starting at the skate park, that. the same kind of thing like we did at the introduction to skate parks video, when you're first learning how to go down a little bank, um, that same position applies. Knees bent, body's more low, more aggressive, more forward, and your feet are staggered. So you're not side by side, which is less stable, less wheelbase. You're separating the feet so you have that stability between the feet with a staggered position. That's really important for skating outside. Another thing is being able to kind of do a, like a little quick feet where you kind of skip from foot to foot sort of thing. Like short little steps. Yeah, like short kinda. little steps because that will help you go through debris. We created a debris field here with a bunch of <laughs> shells and stuff. Um, you'll find this like sometimes it'll be sticks or acorns or pieces of gravel or just a bunch of weird cracks and you can't really you have to kind of like do like a skippy one foot to the other thing i'm going to try to demo that now going through this debris and this is a request from one of our subscribers yes. or followers or well, that's actually, pretty cool it's a request from someone um yeah on on one of our, our subscribers on our page so like it's really good to i mean this is something that a lot of people want to learn how to do as well like when i started skating outside i didn't have any clue and i just fell a lot yeah. so all right here Me we too. go so we're gonna start going forward, kind of keeping that forward position. And I'm gonna kind of try to find the places where there's a little bit less shell and skip through. If you can kind of see, it's kind of like that quick feet. You gotcha. shift your weight from one foot to the other, one foot to the other, trying to find the places where you can kind of get through the stuff yeah. around it. Sometimes there's so much stuff, like if it's a huge pile of sand, say, or a huge giant pile of shell and it's too big to jump, or there's or no you know, way you can go through there's it There's no way you can go through it without wrecking or like it's a big puddle and you don't want to get wet uh, or whatever. <laughs> In that case, you go to the side and run through the grass. Pick up your feet, keep your weight forward and just pick up your feet, run through the grass until you can get back onto a skatable surface. So that's really helpful as well. Um, there w curbs are kind of another thing. We did a video about going on and off of curbs which is another really big part of street skating and clearing traction pads so if you look under our playlist and the videos about street skating um kevin did a video about clearing those traction pads and i did a video about getting up and down off of curbs but just for getting started you know really being able to deal with keeping your balance and getting through the debris is really important i wear my knee pads generally when i skate outside because if I do take a, a trip over something, I can just, oh, take a knee and slide and I'm good, right? Yeah. Wrist guards are another good idea if you're falling forward to have wrist guards. I don't have any right now, but they are a good idea. So be sure to wear the protection that you feel, you know, that you need and that feel, makes you feel safe and comfortable so that you can have fun skating outside. So hopefully that helps. 
Um, please let us know in the comments. Thank you all for the great requests and ideas. And please like and comment, subscribe. Thanks.